Uh, this is Miss Diva's Journey to Fitness, and I'm back. Um, I decided to do uh, my second video on the liquid diet. I did record a lot of, uh, I won't say a lot, but some of what I went through. And I um, just wanted to talk about the surgery. I had surgery December 12th. Today is uh, Friday. I think it is, what, December 16th. So I am about four to five days out now. And, um, yeah, I have some uh, information. But first, I'll go ahead and let you all know what I went through with the liquid diet. I'll start with my stats. Um, my highest recorded weight was actually 315 pounds. A lot of my friends wouldn't believe it. Because they always tell me, oh, you carry your weight so well, and you're not that big. But, um, of course, that was during my pregnancy with my daughter. So, um, that was the highest I'd ever weighed in my entire life. I did get some of that weight off. So, going into this thing, my uh, weight before the pre-op diet was 259 pounds. My... Uh, surgical, my pre-surgical weight loss, I guess is what it's called. Right before surgery, they weigh you. And that weight was 249.6. Um, I don't really have much to record about as far as how much I've lost. I've not lost very much because when you go into the surgery, you, you gain weight when you come out somehow, I guess, due to IV. But anyway, again, I'll talk about that a little bit later. Just wanted to give you my stats and here goes for the uh, Liquid Diet Chronicles. Hey, this is just a diary blog, I guess, or vlog. I just wanted to talk about the Liquid Diet. Okay, so today is December 3rd, 2016. I started my Liquid Diet six days ago. Uh, six days ago, I weighed in at 259 pounds. As of today, I am... 149 pounds that's 49.8 but honey i'm in the 140 so I, it's 149 so anyway <laughs> i digress so i wanted to talk about this liquid diet just a little bit of a little bit of information this liquid diet um okay i take five uh meals per day with liquid diet so two scoops with eight ounces of either almond milk or water. Usually I do water during the day um, because I like it. Um, I like my almond milk cold. So, um, and then in the evenings I'll do almond milk, but I then add ice in the blender. So five meals. So I do one at seven, one at 10, one at right, one o'clock, one at four o'clock, one at seven o'clock, and then I'm done eating. But if I feel hungry in between, I'll do like, um, like a jello or and I make sure I drink plenty of water I have a little mug that holds 74 fluid ounces of water so I fill that up every day and just drink from that and just try to make sure that I empty it or almost empty it let me tell you this liquid diet it does a number on your stomach your stomach it sounds like a, a dinosaur some type of animal is in your stomach and it's gonna <laughs> All these sounds and the gas. Whoo, Lord. Oh, my God. This week, my husband has not been home, and I am so happy because that poor man, if he would have heard those gases and would have smelled the gases, it was horrific. And the worst of the worst is I have, I've had uncontrollable diarrhea. The worst. So, um, that was what Wednesday that I had it. I had to leave work early to make sure I cleaned myself good. Cause I can't be stinking and smelling funny. So anyway, um, today's Saturday, I'm down 10 pounds just from six days of being on the liquid diet. The best is yet to come. Hey, okay. So I'm just checking in during my two week liquid diet. Um, I had a bout with dehydration. I'm on blood pressure medications and one of them was a diuretic so I had to keep going to the doctor a couple times I think I got it under control but the dietitian told me what I needed to do and that I should be fine since my life is going to drastically change on next week anyway um 
So I ended up having to go to the store to get a few items. I went through quite a bit um, through the Liquid Diet Chronicles. Um, going into surgery, I was so excited. I still am excited um, because I really haven't experienced anything other than what would to me be normal for just coming out of surgery. A little soreness um, along my incisions, of course. I can't really bend over. Um, but going into surgery... Um, I didn't really tell a whole bunch of people. I did tell a lot of people once, you know, like I think a week in advance. Um, my reason for not telling many people is because, to be honest, it's none of their business. But um, I didn't need to hear anything negative because many of the people that I know, um, when I did even tell them, oh, you're not that big. And I had to tell them, take that out of you know your statement and then maybe just maybe you'll hear yourself you're telling me that i'm big but i'm just not big enough to have the surgery well according to the numbers i was morbidly obese still am so for me it was a must have um and it wasn't because i just needed to be skinny um i've had too many health issues i've seen my mother pass away my grandmother uh pass away due to heart and health issues. And so I just refuse to see myself go down the same path they went down without trying to at least do something about it. Never desired to be thin. Uh, but, you know, I'll do whatever I need to do in order to last. I got babies and grandbabies and I want to do what I want to do. You know, I want to live. I want to have a long lasting life. And I think this will give me that chance. So I had a few, like I said, I had a few health issues and my hope coming out of this is that uh, some of those things will go, all of them will go away. I claim it in the name of Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> so that's pretty much the reason why I actually did this surgery. Um, and as I state, stated earlier, the best is yet to come. I'm only down two pounds, but let me just tell you, when I weighed in, it was 249.6. When I got out of the hospital, it was 258 point uh, something. But 258, and that was based on the IVs alone. And I don't know if you can, I don't know, you may not be able to see it. But my hand was way puffier. It was like this high from IVs. I think it was a blown IV or something on my hand. And I was like, what the heck? And I told the nurse, but she just did not, for whatever reason, she's like, oh no, it's in there right now. If it was blown, it'd be puffy right, right there. I was thinking in my mind, like, you don't know what you're talking about. I know what I see, but it's okay. Um, I did experience some swelling. Um, they gave me a lot of anti-inflammatories uh, while I was in the hospital. And I still haven't gotten all of the water off of me. However, with being 258 coming out of the hospital now, as of today, uh, four days out, I'm at 247. So really only two pounds less than my pre-surgical weight, but 11 pounds from coming out of surgery. Or I did mine at Gwinnett Medical through the Gwinnett Medical Weight Weight Management Center, um, Center in Duluth. And um, with that, they... Uh, have you to stay overnight in the hospital. Everybody that does the gastric sleeve or gastric bypass. Uh, mine took about three months to get, what am I trying to say, Lord? To get approved. The insurance went ahead and approved it and I was good to go because of course I've been morbidly obese for a while and I've always been, been in my opinion, uh, a pretty big girl. And I've always been fine with that. My mother taught me to just be happy with being you and being comfortable in your own skin. 
So even before I even considered VSG or the vertical sleeve, I didn't think that I was big enough to do this. Um, again, this option came in my mind when health problems arose and I just needed, I knew I needed to do something. I had already stopped eating and drinking a lot of things. I was trying to do it through diet and exercise. I could only get down. I've gotten as low as 200 and like 20 pounds. And I did that and then was able to have uh, lipo on my arms. My arms would hang about this low. So I've lost plenty, you know, with even with that, my arms hung really, 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 really long. I don't know if you can tell. You can't tell now, but um, I did that. And then I gained uh, last year, and I just haven't been able to get it off. And it's caused me to be pre-diabetic and uh, pre cholesterol. So if it's this, you're watching this and you have whatever problems you have that is making you consider uh, having this surgery, my advice to you is remember, only you live in your skin. Only you have to deal with the consequences. I did not confer with anybody. And when I did talk to people and they wanted to tell me about, you know, well, maybe you should do this and maybe you should do that. And I don't know about that. All I could think, and, and I actually had to say it to somebody, you know, I'm really not asking for your permission. Uh, most people know me and I'm pretty blunt. I say what I think. It's got me in trouble a lot, but I had to say that because people, for whatever reason, they think that you're asking their opinion when you tell them. And so that was my reasoning for not really saying much of anything at all beforehand because I didn't really need to hear anything negative. Oh, you can work it off. I know you can do it. Um, I know I can too, but I'm going to do it with a little help this time so I can get it done and get these medical issues off my back. So... Um, and, and, I, I, one of my friends, she said, well, suppose it doesn't do what you wanted to do as far as health issues are concerned. I said, well, then I'll just be a, a pretty, a pretty skinny, uh, young lady instead of a fat skinny young lady. But either way I win. <laughs> I mean, I had to think of it, you know, <laughs> in a positive way because, you know, um, I am taking a chance, but. I'm doing what I think is best for my body, and the only person that's got to live in fat skin is me. And if I don't want to live in it anymore, I don't have to. And I'm not. So if it's just you and, you know, someone is wanting to say that to you and, and wanting to give you their opinions, you know, opinions are like butts. They, you know, every uh, butt, not, buttholes, I should say, without saying curse words. Um, everybody has one. And that doesn't mean that you have to listen. So listen to yourself, listen to your own mind, and remember, only you have to live in your skin. That's it for today. The best is yet to come. I will give another update, probably in another couple weeks. Thanks for listening. I'm out. Peace.